I wanted to, to talk to you a little bit about my documentary and, and what it was all about and, and why I wrote it, because that's, uh, that's what this whole issue is, is all about. Um, the, the, uh, the documentary is called On the Shoulders of Giants, and it talks about the Harlem Men's basketball team, the, the greatest basketball team that you, that you never heard of. And it gives you the background of, of the Harlem Renaissance, which is a very important time, especially for black Americans. Uh, the reason that this subject is so important to me is because when I found out about it, back when I was in high school, it really changed my life. And I can give you a little bit of background about that. When, uh, between my junior and senior years in, in high school, I took part in a program that was started by Dr. Uh, Kenneth Clark. And it was designed to get the kids in Harlem to figure out how they can make Harlem a better place. Uh, in those days, uh, Harlem was dealing with a lot of negative influences, uh, uh, substance abuse, lack of economic opportunities, poor educational uh, facilities, and uh, things were pretty bad there. So uh, he started this program, and it involved uh, putting kids in various workshops and paying them money to, uh, to, to do this thing. So there were workshops in, let's say, photography, drama, art, music, uh, community service. I was in a journalism workshop because writing was something that really was uh, my, my, something that, that uh, inspired me and something that I wanted to do. I wanted to be a journalist. In order to do that, I, we had to know about our subject and that was the Harlem community. So I had to find out what Harlem was all about. And I found out a lot of things about my community that I had not understood up to that point. Uh, lack of economic opportunity and Jim Crow racism really had made their lives miserable. And they could not achieve anything in the South or in the Caribbean because uh, there, there was nothing there to do. Uh, they were, uh, by law, not allowed to participate. And uh, they couldn't live, live meaningful lives or achieve anything. By moving to the northern tier of the United States where Jim Crow laws were, were not enforced and uh, had, had no substance, they were able to start to get things done. Uh, black Americans started to make achievements in, in politics and in business, very importantly in, in, in business, getting jobs. Uh, the advent of World War I also meant that no more European immigrants could come to America. And again, uh, the businesses in the northern tier of the United States needed bodies, they needed people to work. Black Americans filled that role, and uh, there was a huge migration of, of black people to the, to the northern part of, of our country. Uh, Harlem really was, uh, took prominence there because it was the center of the media here in our country, but uh, there were a lot of other towns, Chicago, Detroit, uh, Philadelphia, Boston, all saw inc huge increases in, uh, in black citizens. The result of that was the fact that uh, black culture started to affect American culture. To this day, the 1920s is still known as the Jazz Age. And that, there's a reason for that. It's because uh, black culture, all of a sudden, uh, people were, were aware of it. People like Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington uh, were heard and uh, recognized as geniuses. Uh, other people in the, in the arts, uh, the, especially the, uh, the performing arts, and uh, the graphic arts, such as painting and sculpture, they all came and were recognized as uh, having talent. Uh, you had people like Langston Hughes, the, the great poet. He became well known at that point. And uh, America started looking upon uh, black people with a different light. Up to that point, they were only seen as people who could work on farms. Uh, and who did not have the intelligence or the, or the determination to, uh, to do anything else. This started to change at that point. But uh, part of this whole thing was athletics. Athletics was a big part of all of this, and athletics really helped uh, black Americans leapfrog over a lot of uh, prejudice. Uh, 